hello guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you all are doing well and uh so today's video hmm <laughs> it's going to be a very funny one but today i'm here to talk about things i wish i knew before moving or relocating to the uk because i have experienced a whole lot and i really want to share with this with you guys because i feel like it is real <laughs> It's about that time we see how real it has been since living in the UK. So, okay, let's start. Number one, weather. Of course, I knew I'm going to be in a different uh, weather condition or harsh weather conditions. But living it is another thing entirely. Like, <clears throat> the UK weather is something else. The next minute is raining. The next minute is sunny. Before you know it, it's cold. You don't know like it changes frequently you don't even know what's gonna be like today and sometimes it makes me not even want to go out it makes me want to sit at home because i'm not sure what the weather is gonna be like especially if you're not driving so it took me a while to adjust <laughs> because at some point i'm like gosh back home is just two season dry and raining season and that's it so yeah the uk weather is something else but other than that I don't know then number two is you know this mindset of where uh, Nigerians or Africa tend to think okay let me not generalize but where this mindset where uh, Nigerians think oh she's moved abroad she's living her best life guys there is downside to everything of course I mean a well-structured system where there's good transportation um, constant light um, what's it called uh, um, good educational system you know a whole lot is well structured but here hmm okay let's say for example you're taking the bus it tends to control your time you have to leave earlier than often just to make sure you don't miss your bus or you know it might not come at all and sometimes traveling by train within the UK is so freaking expensive it's even cheaper to fly within the Europe than to travel within the UK by train that is how expensive it is and uh, what else yeah okay for example Nigeria you might not be on a bumpy road or all those things you get to be in a very good smooth uh, no bumpy road or whatsoever but still like it's there are some downsides to it for example I've said this already the boss it controls your time unlike nigeria motorbike where you just enter a color in and out sharp sharp you're in and you're out so yeah like no, nothing controls your time basically nothing you just um move as quickly as you want i really do miss that then uh, what else um bills hmm. the bills you pay oh my god you have no freaking idea the bills we pay here is something that sometimes your monthly rent could be your yearly rent in Nigeria. That is how crazy it is. You pay through your nose. The bills you pay is no joke. It's not funny. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, another one again is childcare. This one, childcare. Hmm. It is so expensive. You have no freaking idea. You know, having the, um, the luxury of help in Nigeria is absolutely beautiful like i miss those days when i first relocated i wanted to die like and of course you know i have scoliosis having to find that balance adjusting all over again it was something else it was so hard and it took me a while to put amanda in nursery because i came around february and there were some procedures to a lot of things that i didn't know uh of course i knew you would pay and because you're putting your child in the care of people but there are so many procedures to, to these things. For example, you have to make sure there is space. You have to uh, choose between morning sections, afternoon sections, evening sections. Of course, you can choose all the sections if you can afford it, but it is freaking expensive. Then you would have to, you know, how much you pay in a day. That is another one. Sometimes how much you pay per day could be your help your house help um monthly rent in two months that is what you could have used to offset her two months rent in nigeria that is how expensive it is 
uh what else so yeah it's so freaking expensive because when i moved i didn't know that you have to really uh register on time so there's space for her i kept moving around going to different nurseries at some point it became so frustrating and but fortunately i was able to find one it wasn't so far from the house and it wasn't too close either so i had to take amanda there every morning to bring her back goodness like <sighs> child care is expensive and now it makes sense why some so many people don't even work a lot of mothers don't work because you can't even work you can't even uh, because you have to take care of your child yourself. There is no help. You practically do everything yourself for your child. So yeah, the child care aspect, I'm now seeing a more full, fuller perspective. Of course, I knew it's there, but I'm now living in reality of it. It is so freaking expensive. You, you might not even be able to work because you have to take care of your kids. And sometimes it depends on a lot of factors depends on the country the number of kids because at some age i think when your child's are uh, much older you tend to get government funding but when they are much younger you have to pay for them like preschool you have to pay for everything so yeah it's that crazy anyway so yeah that's it for child care but another one again is um diys you do everything yourself you practically do everything yourself here yeah. You, you know in Nigeria where the maybe your kid man could be your electrician, your plumber, you know, you know those little things, minor things, you know, you could get away with. Maybe your kid man can fix it for you or your driver can fix it for you. Here, mm -mm -mm, you learn everything because there are professionals for it, for it everything. There are people for it. You can even find them online. You want a plumbing service, you have to call a plumber of course it's gonna charge you you want to fix your tv or hang some of your stuff you have to call they will charge you so you practically learn everything yourself in fact your middle name will be diy you do everything yourself and another one again is if you have a girl child moving and you want to relocate please learn how to do her hair because that was another one i struggled with it wasn't funny guys like hey I will call my sister Chisum because she knows how to do cornrows and you know she does her kids hair herself. I will call her she was laughing because she she asked me Obi why don't you learn how to do this I'm like oh not interested I'll take her to the salon and they will do her hair and you pay little or nothing like you know I was chilling not knowing that it was gonna come in handy so hmm when I was able to travel back home to Nigeria the first thing I asked her was Chisum, teach me how to do cornrow, teach me how to braid hair. Because half of the time, your kids hair are going to be unkept. And even if you say, okay, let you take her to someone that can do her hair, the amount you pay, that is what you can use and make her hair five times over back home in Nigeria. So these things, you just have to learn to do them yourself. And you know how African texture our hair can be? It's very curly. You have to do them. And at most, it can last about two weeks then you have to do another hair so you have to learn to do a lot of things like my car i foil it i pump the tires everything relating my car that i drive i do everything it's not like when you have a driver in nigeria oh go out for the car check make sure you take it to the mechanic make sure you you do this like you do everything yourself <laughs> which is good at least it's self-sufficient yeah it's good that way you tend to do more of things yourself than calling someone <laughs> but that luxury like that is what i miss but anyways that's it and another thing again here in the uk is that you learn to walk like i kid you not coming back to the transportation you learn to walk in the uk let's say for example you get off at this bus stop it could be another five or six minutes to where you're going you learn to walk and if you're going to a bus um, station just to get a bus to where you're going to you learn to walk and i don't mean at your own pace brisk walking <laughs> like you walk really fast which is good plus or minus at least it helps you to keep fit and uh yeah so you do everything yourself you know when i was when i just had toby people were like oh my god you are fat like i came back to nigeria after i had toby and my sister was like Obi, you're big you're huge i'm like oh don't worry i will lose the weight when i go back here you don't need gym 
you do like doing everything yourself is your gym and <laughs> that's how bad it is so yeah you do everything you will lose your weight look at me now uh i came back from nigeria and all the weight that i gained because i ate like i wasn't even feeding my i was eating everything when i came back shh, it will go down diys you do everything yourself so yeah and then here in the uk there's nothing like a wolf you know in nigeria where you say oh i'm gonna crash this wedding like I'm gonna go do this I'm gonna go do that uh yeah are you going for this wedding okay all right I'm coming with you then you go here RSVP which is good it makes you understand that everything is well planned but that crashing of wedding where you know in Nigeria I said oh we're expecting 500 guests but let's prepare for at least a thousand you never know how many people are coming that is crashing that is a wolf you're not invited but you're going here is boring and you're looking for places to go did you tell them you were coming how many are you how many kids are you coming with everything is rsvp you just don't walk into any event and you're like oh i'm gonna be served <laughs> mm -mm -mm. i miss those days in nigeria so uh of course like you don't do those things here but either way it's it's, it's not bad <laughs> anyways guys so that's it for today in conclusion what am i saying of course home is where your family is so my family they are here but i'm still making it the best uh um situation of uh possible as i can because you have to learn you are living in a different country of course there are gonna be so many different things but it's just that you are living it and this is your reality now but either ways we are making the best of it we are learning every day and yeah so it's a whole new experience for us and uh we are making it work so yeah that said okay <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna end the video here and i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell that we get to see all my uploads don't forget to like this video like comment give it a thumbs up all the good stuff you guys know the drill already on that note peace out bye, -bye.